China has imposed ban on exports of rare earth elements, specifically gallium, germanium, and antimony to the U.S., citing their dual military and civilian applications and national security concerns. Additionally, stricter reviews were imposed on the export of graphite. This action is seen as a retaliatory measure against U.S. restrictions on advanced chip exports to China. These rare earths are integral to the production of semiconductors, electronics, weaponry, solar technologies, and electric vehicles. The ongoing tit-for-tat measures have isolated American firms, increased supply chain fragmentation, and heightened economic and defense security concerns. This heavy reliance on China creates vulnerabilities for U.S. industries, as domestic extraction and processing remain costly and challenging. These bans are expected to deepen supply shortages in critical areas. The bans extend to restrict transshipment through third-party nations, forcing global companies to choose between the U.S. and Chinese markets. Anticipated disruptions and shortages could spread to other critical minerals like nickel and cobalt. As always we have a set of questions to answer, is China only supplier of these rare earth elements or U.S. can get from other sources? Why is the U.S. not importing these rare earth elements from other countries? And what will the potential impact of China's export ban on rare earth elements be in the United States? Before I proceed, I encourage you to like the video and share your views on the topic in the comments section below. Your feedback is invaluable for us and a wider audience around the world. China is the world's largest producer of rare earth elements by far. China produces 70% of the world's rare earth minerals, handles 90% of global rare earth mineral processing. In 2024, 70% of U.S. rare earths imports originated from China. While the United States is the second largest producer of rare earths, it trails China significantly, and its known rare earth reserves make up just 2% of total global reserves. In 2024, China's domestic output of rare earths was 270,000 metric tons, up from 255,000 metric tons the previous year. The United States comes at second spot with 45,000 metric tons of rare earth output in 2024, up from 41,600 metric tons in the previous year. If we talk about the other producers, they are far behind from China. The largest rare earth mining company in the world is China Northern Rare Earth High Tech, which owns the prolific Bayan OBO rare earth mining complex in Inner Mongolia, an autonomous region of northern China. China, which produces a large portion of the world's rare earth elements, has been a key supplier to the U.S. for these critical minerals. The U.S. is now facing potential disruptions in its supply chain for these materials, which are essential for various technologies, including semiconductors, electronics, and military applications. Let's understand, what will the potential impact of China's export ban on rare earth elements be in the United States? The ban could disrupt U.S. industries that rely on these materials, potentially affecting the production of semiconductors, electronics, and even military hardware. The U.S. is also facing challenges in finding alternative sources of these minerals, as China dominates the global refining and processing of rare earth elements. The impact will be huge in different sectors. Firstly, the prohibition on rare earth elements poses a national security issue for the United States. The defense technologies utilized in the U.S. depend on these rare minerals, making any shortages a potential threat to maintaining competitive parity with China's military advancements. China is significantly outpacing the U.S. in the development of advanced weaponry and munitions. Secondly, there is a risk to economic security. A recent report from the U.S. Geological Survey estimated that a complete ban on gallium and germanium exports could lead to a $3.4 billion loss in GDP for the U.S. economy. Although graphite exports have not been entirely banned, the increasingly stringent restrictions present a considerable threat. The U.S. possesses less than 1% of the world's graphite reserves, rendering the country entirely dependent on imports. In contrast, China controls 15.8% of the global graphite supply and accounts for 77% of natural graphite production, over 95% of synthetic graphite production, and nearly 100% of graphite refining. Given that the average electric vehicle requires 136 pounds of graphite and the EV industry is projected to create 99,600 jobs as a result of the Inflation Reduction Act, a total ban on graphite would have severe repercussions for both the EV industry and the overall U.S. economy. Third, the American chip industry is poised to experience significant repercussions. 
By cautioning against the acquisition of American chips, China simultaneously jeopardizes the credibility of the U.S. chip sector, which may lead to adverse financial consequences for chip manufacturers. On the day the ban on rare mineral exports was announced, the China Semiconductor Industry Association issued a warning to Chinese firms, stating that American chip products are no longer deemed safe and reliable, necessitating caution in the procurement of American chips by related Chinese industries. Fourth, this ban is contributing to the isolation of the United States, as European companies are being urged to invest in China instead of the U.S. Jens Eskelund, president of the European Union Chamber of Commerce in China, remarked, this action signifies a considerable escalation in the ongoing technological conflict between the U.S. and China, and EU businesses are increasingly concerned about being caught in the crossfire. But why is the production of other countries with big reserves so low? For example, Brazil, India, and Russia have good reserves but their production of rare earth elements is too low. They have low rare earth production despite substantial reserves due to a combination of factors, including infrastructure limitations, lack of investment, and a reliance on China for processing technologies. The rising tensions of the US-China trade war, since the Trump administration implemented restrictions on Chinese technology in 2019, tensions have escalated. Despite ongoing sanctions and export controls aimed at Chinese tech, the nation has emerged as an industrial powerhouse over the past eight years. China's manufacturing sector now surpasses that of the US, Germany, Japan, South Korea, and the UK combined, and it is nearing self-sufficiency in various industries, except for advanced semiconductors. The country has significantly diminished its reliance on US supplies, particularly in critical sectors such as artificial intelligence and military technology. In response to U.S. tariffs and sanctions, China has retaliated by prohibiting the export of essential rare earth minerals to the U.S. This action marks the latest chapter in the ongoing trade conflict that has unfolded since the Trump administration initiated punitive tariffs and restricted China's access to U.S. technology in 2018, a trend that the Biden administration has continued by reinforcing anti-China alliances and intensifying sanctions. In response to the administration's third initiative against China's semiconductor sector in three years, announced on December 2, 2024, China imposed a ban on rare earth minerals. This measure restricts exports to 140 Chinese firms, specifically targeting the shipment of advanced memory chips and chip manufacturing equipment from the United States to China. The intention behind this action is to prevent China from obtaining and producing chips for artificial intelligence and military purposes. In retaliation, China has prohibited the export of four essential minerals necessary for the production of semiconductors and advanced weaponry. On the same day, for trade associations linked to the government advised Chinese companies to exercise caution when considering the purchase of U.S. manufactured computer chips. This current export ban by China is a direct response to the limitations imposed on its semiconductor industry. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos on important international topics.